So Cam Akers is not going to stop until he is a top three running back in the NFL. Welcome to the show. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we'll be talking about Cam Akers. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment because it does help out the channel, but let's dive right into it. So very recently, uh, the Rams on social media had Cam Akers on their show uh, after one of the practices. Cam Akers was very open about you know, basically his struggles and believing that he didn't have the best preseason or rather best postseason. Uh, he didn't have the best season last year and he didn't make excuses when asked if he was 100 percent. He said there was no way he was going to come back if he wasn't 100 percent. So credit to him. He's taking full accountability. He wants a ring, uh, another ring, but he wants one where he feels like he earned it. Listening to Cam Akers, I came away very impressed with a young player in this league that's already gone through a traumatic experience in tearing his Achilles tendon, uh, but he's able to come back in the same year. We got to give him credit. I know people kind of label me as a Cam Akers hater, but I very much like the guy, and I do have his jersey in the back of my room to prove it. However, there were concerns about his lack of pass protection ability, which would ultimately allow him to stay on the field. What I mean by that is where you have Daryl Henderson on this team or Sony Michelle last year or now newcomer Kyron Williams. Those guys can stay on the field first down, second down and third down because of their ability to pass protect. Third down is typically going to be your throwing down, your passing down. And so that is why you want a guy in pass protection who can survive on third down. It's really what has held back Cam Akers from being a bell cow. But I think he can get there. And hearing the encouraging things that I saw in that interview, hearing that he has been there 8 a.m. every single day. He's working until he's a top three running back in the NFL. And furthermore, hearing that he didn't take a vacation and he just went right to work just tells me he has the right mindset. The young running back is just absolutely incredible when he gets a head full of steam and he can have those explosive runs. That's something that Daryl Henderson hasn't been able to do, nor has Sony Michelle the way Cam Akers has. However, Cam Akers has only played two seasons, and let's be honest with you, the second season wasn't much of a season. He came back from an incredible injury and was able to play barely towards the end of the season and into the postseason. However, 2020, he did show promise. And while his stats don't look amazing, a 4.2 yards per carry average for his career, a 628-yard output, and then on top of it, three total touchdowns, hear me out when I say I'm not doubting this kid and I'm definitely not betting against him while I do expect the Rams offense to go more pass happy and more vertical I wouldn't rule out Cam Akers ability to make plays in this offense it's why I have him going over 700 yards rushing and probably with the receiving included he's looking at getting into the thousand yard total from yards of scrimmage now I understand some people hear 700 and they're thinking I'm lowballing Cam Akers I don't think the Rams are going to run the ball as much as we've been accustomed to. I think they now have what they really want in the vertical passing attack with Allen Robinson joining the team, with Van Jefferson finding his stride in year two, getting 800 plus yards, being top seven in the league in yards per reception. You have Cooper Cup, potentially Tutu Atwell developing, Tyler Higby, Kendall Blanton. I mean, the list goes on. So really, they have a lot of weapons there. But I did want to point out something very interesting in that interview. Uh, it was Maurice Jones-Drew that brought it up. Cam Akers had a little bit of a rumor going on that he was going to play slot receiver. Not entirely, but here and there. So I'm very curious to see if the Rams do go back to the drawing board here now that they have Cam Akers healthy. We didn't get to see the true Rams offense last year, and we won't get to see it this year because they've already revamped it and changed it by adding Allen Robinson. What I'm very curious about, though, is where Cam Akers fits in all this. He's not going to be a bell cow by the old school definition where everyone in the league used to have a Steven Jackson, a Sean Green, a Brian Westbrook, etc. Now, we even saw the Jets go out and get Brees Hall in the draft when they already had Michael Carter, who had a great season last year. This is, we're gone with all of that. Unless you're a Derrick Henry, a Jonathan Taylor, for the most part, every team in the league is going to have at least two backs and maybe even a third back. 
However, that does not mean Cam Akers is about to have a down year, and I really don't think he's going to. I think this is somebody that's going to be used to the best of his ability and complemented extremely well in Sean McVay's system using the likes of Daryl Henderson and, of course, Kyron Williams. But coming into 2022, what do I expect out of Cam Akers? Quite honestly, I expect a better season than his rookie year, and I expect a guy that is going to slowly but surely and gradually improve in pass pro. He's putting in the work. You love to hear it, and obviously I wouldn't expect anything less, but I was still very impressed by that interview. He seems like a guy that's hungry, and for somebody that's already tasted a Super Bowl victory in his second year in the league and not even playing full two seasons in the league, you would think this guy might be a little reluctant to get his hands dirty. No. Not Cam Akers. Cam Akers is ready to go for 2022, and it pretty much just shows you the vibe around the Rams. They are ready to run it back. For Jake Ellenbogen, I'm signing off. Until next time, you guys take care. Later.